All right, Gary, what are we playing this week? Well, Cole, like all Americans, you love pizza. Oh, I love pizza. I love pizza. What is your biggest problem with pizza? (sighs) The disastrous effect that it has on my body. It's a really good answer. I was going to say that's too big. Okay, okay. So you're looking for something, I mean, you, you know you can get a personal size pizza, right? Too big. Oh, huh. I, I need I need a smaller uh, pizza. So I've been, I hired a market research firm to take some of the leading pizza brands and make smaller versions of them. Okay, so instead of like okay. a, like, like a, like a red baron, you want like a, like a red. Squire. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, we got red squire. Um, we got uh pet pet tombstone <laughs> <laughs> to, 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 to tomb pebble there we go yeah, yeah. To, tomb pebble yeah tombstone for durable <laughs> you know backyard popsicle stick tombstone did did di journey <laughs> yeah did di, di <laughs> di uh but my my favorite uh is tocino's pizza of course mm. uh, and it's it's really struggling with it so i was hoping that you could use your fonzie-esque touch to uh to, to to I know I said I hired marketing people and now I'm saying it's like it's a machine. Uh, hmm. if you could use your Fonzie esque touch to hip check yeah. one of these marketing guys okay. and get him to come up with uh something for a smaller version of Totinos. So sometimes you need a consultant for your consultants. So yeah. 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 Okay. Just really rough them up. Okay. All right. Uh so he's yeah. just standing there at a whiteboard. I know these guys. I used to work in this yeah, world. Hit yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I'll just hip check him into the wall here. Fuck you. <laughs> just, ah. Yeah. Hit somebody, the goon him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Now he's getting back up yeah, again. Yeah. He's coughing, yeah. He's coughing up blood. <laughs> two, 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 two teenies. Perfect. You, there we go. Yeah, Was that so hard? Yeah. You really punctured along there, buddy. Yeah. No. You bet. You, save your breath to call dial one one because I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. What am I a fucking? <laughs> what am I a phone booth? Come on. No. Tutinis. Anywho, let's leave him to die. Uh, the game computer enjoys Tutinis. <laughs> and so do I, baby. My name is Gary Butterfield. My name is Cole Ross. Welcome to After Suffering, where a living person gets processed into sausage. Mmm, rendered. Uh, and uh, this is a this is a. It is the first uh, recording of After Suffering of the new year. Happy New Year, everybody! Um, mm-hmm. And this is also a Gary pick. Gary decided. Fresh back, fresh <laughs> back from mode, a vacation. Baby. Yeah. How about let's let's pick a game uh, for which nothing exists. <laughs> I uh, I did that on purpose. Okay, <laughs> because we're back from vacation, so we have lots of stuff to talk about. No, so I, I think I'm, you and I have very different ideas of vacation. <laughs> <laughs> well, like may, here, maybe a different way. Like we we haven't talked for a while, so maybe there's some pent up. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, Thanks. but also I was just cruising steam, and I came <laughs> upon this naturally through cruising steam. Huh. Which is kind of a miracle. I was like, two teenies. What the fuck are these things? And I looked at the Steam page and I was like, oh, it's a it's a little guy with a with a big it's like kind of like a embryonic grimace. Yeah. You know? With a big old, big old shit can on him. Just like a huge, huge butt. <laughs> Just rocking a dump truck and it's pointed Absolute right at the camera. Dump truck. Yeah, it's great. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you like a big round motherfucking tutini, you're gonna get get off on this. If 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 you if you want something in a calipigian pair, uh, yes. with uh, uh, both eyebrows above his eyes, and then what appears to be like little nodes of flesh that are also eyebrows dangling above his head. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's got some extra eyebrows. Uh, this is what you come to expect from Skeldon. Uh, the, the Nordic student studio, I think. Yeah, they created the two teenies. The t- the uh, two teenies. Yeah. yeah, I got I got to throw out the you know I'm going to make fun of two teenies a little bit, but this is <laughs> as small a project as we've done on this, so be cool. Uh, <laughs> you know, by no means should you make fun of the for like a student project kind of thing. This is pretty impressive. Yeah, uh, you know, but I was just like, man, the whole world of two teenies. 
What, can, what kind of <laughs> adventures can we get into talking about two teenies? <laughs> I can't know no more how to talk about no more teenies. So what's funny is, you know, uh, this is set up. There's a, uh, a cutscene is putting it a little bit, a uh, little bit generously. Uh, there's a slideshow at the open uh, where it is just key poses of these different hideous monsters <laughs> with their, with their various stripes and patterns. <laughs> it's your fucking tongue, dude. These things are beautiful. <laughs> like I love a Tuccini. They're like something in a, f- I hate how, uh, so in general, I want everything to be fat. Okay. If if a creature or character design can be chonky, I want it to be. Mm-hmm. This is they have Rayman like floating arms and stuff, but they yeah. don't have Rayman's uh, anemic, like s- frankly sickly, yeah, kind of countenance. Like Rayman looks very sick. <laughs> he he looks like <laughs> the, like money, he is sick. <laughs> yeah, he's he's very deep in like a terminal illness yeah yeah you know? he's he, he's he's got a GoFundMe that's moving very quickly from medical expenses to uh <laughs> to, you to know, funeral ca- expenses casket they're just, they, yeah. yeah they're just they're, it's hovering over the button that switches it <laughs> and they put that on GoFundMe now as just a feature like you can turbo switch it you know? yeah you, you can immediately switch the tense past tense yeah, button you just send it you just send a text to bleak uh at, but the uh the tutini our main tutini here none mm-hmm. of those problems he's healthy looking mm, robust you know he looks his rough, rough and tumble, robust. I kind of like. Th- what would it be like unto hug a tutini? Do you think? I don't. You know, uh, it's kind of like Smurfs. We do not know exactly what size this is relative to humans. We do see him not not relative to humans. No, we see him next to like trees and bushes and stuff. I think he's but, probably about as tall as a knee. I think he's like probably knee high. Okay, I mean, I hug my cats a lot. Like if they're yeah. if they're dumb enough to stand in front of me, I'll pick them up. You know, probably. Sure. I mean, it's probably humiliating for this two teeny our main guy to be picked sure. up and squeezed <laughs> like bodily, you know? picked yeah. up like snuck into a movie mm. or whatever. <laughs> I I just wonder if he's how like does he feel like leather. Or does he feel like is it like hugging a, a inflated balloon? You know, does he feel rubbery? I mean, with like, his, what is Tutini's skin? If if we are to if we are to read his bodily his bodily shape as you know be, being a little chonker, I would mm-hmm. imagine that like it's it's a mammal probably. Uh, sure. So maybe there's like a like a peach fuzz kind of thing going on. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, yeah. I think there's like, like, hugging a, a, like a is it like, like a hugging an avocado hair. or hugging a peach? I think it's like hugging yeah. a peach. Yeah. Uh, hopefully. That's yeah. A, that's the best case scenario. Yeah. And especially with the juice that comes out. Oh, yeah. Like, I could I could eat a tortini for hours. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> you imagine you're, you're about to go down a girl and she pulls down her panties and there's just a tortini hanging out. <laughs> you know? Y- yum. <laughs> what would you do? I thought you were saying, imagine if you just, if you're getting ready to go down on a girl, then you just, you know, pull out a gigantic, uh, like hourglass, and like, all right, oh, start sure. the clock. <laughs> <laughs> so the, uh, little sand is going through the hourglass. Yeah. That's the, uh, uh, yeah. So this is just little fucked up little guy and you get this little motion comic slideshow thing mm. about them hanging out in Nordic. Um, speaking in very broken English, which it, you can't hold that against them because when you open no. this up, there are like eight different languages that you can pick from, which seems a little yes. ambitious. Yes. This is for, this is the world's game. Yes. This, the, we, it, it this belongs is to all of us. It's like Izzy from the Olympic yes. games. Very similar. Yeah. Uh, and it tells the story of this, which is our little guy, uh, Tutini, uh, is a little horrible shit. <laughs> He's a mm-hmm. little sexist garbage man. Yeah, there's a, you know? he, he's he's a he's a blue tutini. Uh, the the way that the okay, so I'm confused because the thing that you are going after is is an inventor named Tutini who has been yes. captured. So like that is but a the proper game is name. called Tutinis. <laughs> You know, multiple two teams. <laughs> so, which kind of like the Zoom beanies would lead you to believe that any of these pear shaped creatures, what happen to feel like peaches, is a two teeny, and then put together they are two teenies. But two teeny yeah. is also like a Da Vinci figure in this. He has been captured. Uh, 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 sorry. Continue. Continue, continue. No, I just I no, saw something you, good. You, you can't just make that fucked up sound <laughs> and not have me. <laughs> well, I was I was doing research in the background. Okay. You know, as we research. do, like, this is research. Yeah. Okay. Th- this is the uh, this is the show where we have tabs open and we look at the internet <laughs> during the show. This is known. 
I was looking at other games made by Skeldon, and I found uh, Bubbins. The player controls a young Bubbin, Dun Dun, as he begins to hunt through a castle for to free nine Bubbins captured by the green Mabu Grub. Yay! And I just... <laughs> <laughs> the <number laughs> on the boat the bubbin dum dum dun dun the bubbin <laughs> the green mabu grub wait <laughs> tell me the mabu grub factors in just waiting <laughs> just say the line bar it's mabu grub <laughs> yeah yay <laughs> just oh then it get the young bubbin dub dun dun <laughs> dun dun the bubbin like it just <laughs> sounds like great noises you would make you know <laughs> It's great. I, I don't know. I haven't played uh, Bubbin, Bubbins yet. But I imagine it's it's similar to the two teenies. You know, this, this company just keeps making races of little fucked up critters. Oh, man. I've got another summary here. The player controls the young Bubbin Dun Dun as he begins a hunt through a castle to free nine fellow Bubbins captured by the green Mabu, Mabu Grub. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the green Mabu Grub. <laughs> oh, Mabu oh. Grub. So it is the green Mabu. His name is Grub. G- Yes, but yeah, he is a green he is, Mabu. <laughs> okay. He, he, yeah, he's a Mabu. Uh, I can't see any screenshots from this game. No. Uh, but I would, I'd love to meet that grub. Yeah. Uh, so the primary way that the two teenies, let's call them that for right now, the way that they interact with each other is to spit. Well, like, well, so he, he tries to do this at the lady and she says, you don't, you do not bubble a two teeny or something. One does <laughs> yeah, not one simply does not bubble. bubble a two teeny. Yeah. And then she, it looks like for all the world, she dashes off, like shooting a bubble out of her ass Uh huh. to get away. Like they can do it both sides. If you think of if you if you can think of a better way for a teeny to ambulate, then I would gladly I, I, see it. Well, you kind of waddle around in the game. That's well, not very how, efficient. How, how about a how about a, a one inch jump? <laughs> um, but she kind of she shoots away and then gets captured by like an unrelated monster. Yeah, and that's what sets the entire Tutini's village into fucking apeshit mode. Yeah, like we get this what feels like like a unending goddamn montage of screenshots of all of the Tutini's like gearing up for war mm-hmm. <laughs> like, it's really so and then we just get plopped in a 3d quote-unquote platformer because it is the worst jump in video games yeah uh, as we we go around trying to do this little physics student demo game right right so uh, it is like a uh it is like a non-sokoban third person shooter perspective adventures of lolo you're going around these levels that are put together like a tile creator it's 3d but you know very simple geometry uh either shooting you little bubbles to like kill these turrets or these enemies or occasionally you will need to uh <sighs> There will be these little like wooden things that look look like wooden bow ties that you need to Why catch on they fire. Make those the key, yeah, yeah. I, they're keys. So a, a door will have this little bow tie symbol, and then you pick up a wooden bow tie, mm-hmm. and then sometimes you have to have the wooden bow tie on fire. Yeah, and you scoot it around. Like if you shoot something, everything is ice level physics. Yes, everything slides around. That's kind of like the physical hook mm-hmm. to this. And you think like you blow bubbles at people, they would get captured in a bubble. And then you would push them around, you know, Mm -hmm. no, they're just projectiles. They either just hurt or don't hurt. Yeah. And scoot things around. It's pretty hard to get into. Yeah. And I gotta say, you know, you you show up in like the first non-tutorial level and it's like, you must, you must like collect the 12 crystals. And I looked at the map. It was like this big Metal Gear Solid map. And I'm like, nah, (laughs) I I feel like I got it. I got it. But did you save your game? no <laughs> at some point you save your game and the way you save your game is you find a brain in a jar oh i did yeah no i did i didn't make Why? a note of that what yeah. is happening with the fucking two teenies i'm in so it's, deep on the two teenies <laughs> wrapped around the axle on these, on these two yeah. teenies it's actually kind of horrifying because the eyes and like it, it kind of could plausibly be the the uh just the, the spinal cord brain and eyes of a two teeny. Like they were, he was like about ready to get turned into a revengeance cyborg. Like, mm-hmm. right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, the, uh, the page has a little bit more information uh, here. Uh, so the two teenies are small, peaceful creatures. They live in a village tree, just downhill of an old castle during everyday life. They use their ability to bubble to transport huge fruits from the surrounding forest back to their village. <laughs> Seems good. 
Okay. Right? Like I can get down yeah. with that. Not, then, not how uh, it works. So they're literally yeah. just just pushing the fruits across the across the ground with their bubbles. Yeah. 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 With their little two teeny hands. And then that's huh. how they get all that's why they're all so plump. And huh. then Lula, a young female Tutini, is kidnapped by a huge green monster living in the nearby castle. So the Tutini rescue team fails and are also trapped inside the castle. <laughs> <laughs> you are the last hope. Oh, so the Bravo team, they went in yes. Kato, so then, <laughs> yeah. so then Alpha team needs to go in and recover yeah. them. Yeah. And your Alpha team. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they they, uh, they have won. They're in Oslo. Uh, and they have received support from the Norwegian Film Institute and won the Nordic Game Programs Developer Award for Best New Game Concept. Their orchestral score is especially uh, composed by the award-winning composer uh, Knut Avenstrup Haugen, uh, known for the Age of Conan series. And also and Lords, Lords of the, of the Fallen. Fallen. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I, th- uh, I, think that name, I, I think that name is Newt. What did I say? You said Knut? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try Newt. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, Newt Avenstrup Haugen. And yeah. then at the end, they say, we hope you will enjoy our game. Sincerely, the Skeleton Team. Aww. They they seem like perfectly nice people. This is, it's a, it's a they kid's game. Good. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was awarded the Nordic Game Developer for best game concept. I mean, <laughs> that's, I'm, that's I'm, 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 I'm dubious. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> it's, a, it's an extraordinary claim. Yeah. For the two <laughs> Um it's real funny. There's only three reviews of this and the two of them that are uh, untranslated. And if you get the translation, they're both about how there's not controller support. Um, I, I love this. It's in the, in the steam community. Uh, there's uh, just the, the community posts. Uh, it just, it's, it's always <laughs> funny when you find loan loan words. So, mm-hmm. so, so this is very obviously somebody their their, their language. Uh, they, they, they don't have just a controller. That is not how they refer to it. They say hand controller. The game cannot be played by hand control only from mm-hmm. keyboard. Uh, and it's hand control with two L's at the end of it. I love I, hand control. I, I love hand control. Uh, as a uh, again as a as a as a loan word kind of thing, always fascinated really like by that. Also, the one positive review that just says Tootins, and then the one <laughs> negative review that just says Tootins. <laughs> like, <laughs> the negative review Tootins, one point two hours on record. <laughs> I've been tootin', tootin for a live long day, and I still haven't figured it out. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, man. man. I, there's something about like you 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 get a little little guy. And uh-huh. you call them like, you know, it's like the Zumbinis, uh-huh. you know, like the two teenies get a little, a little race of little guys and you call them like the frubbed ups or something mm. and then just make them run around and live in a peaceful little fat village. And I kind of like it. Yeah. You know? yeah. There's a, yeah. The, 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 there's a definite charm to it that I cannot argue yeah. with. Um, I, I will say that this does make me want a Totino's party pizza. You oh, know, just yeah, like the, dude. like the tiny little, like that crust is not made of any substance known to man. It is the like the whole both, thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, the, uh, next time you eat one of those. So I, I had one of those a couple of years ago. Okay. For the first time in a long time. Try to differentiate ingredients. <laughs> like eat it very consciously. Eat it like you would eat nice food. Like you would enjoy a steak. Mm-hmm. But instead of focusing on savoring, focus on telling apart like discerning different ingredients. Like if you took yeah. a bite, if you could name everything that you were eating, <laughs> because you can't, it's all no. one big spongy, like they're ki- kind of delicious in a non-food way. Yeah. You know, like, but it's this <laughs> whole like spongy, like mouthfeel exception that you're yeah. eating. I mean, yeah. uh, uh, like the, 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 those things to me, like that is what summer vacation tastes like. You oh, know, sure. like me, like nine years old, left at home. Go ahead, use the oven. Yeah, <laughs> use the oven to heat this bad boy up. Yeah, you. I, I love that you can microwave them, but they're f- like somehow like even spun. Like they just oh, become yeah. sponges. No, no. When, you, when you, I was you, young, you know, I would use the microwave because I didn't understand mm-hmm. that made better food. And that would yeah. be a little dumb. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know that I have more to say about two teenies than what we've already gotten out of just the very concept of a two teeny. What a set of you and I getting matching two teenies tattoos change your mind. <sighs> I don't want that. I don't want that to happen. So it would change your mind. 
though, because you don't want it to happen. Your mind would change. No, I think I walked into this kind of not having a tutini tattoo, <laughs> a tattoony in my head. <laughs> yeah. But if you had one, you don't think it would change your mind? I, I think your I mind had, would change. You'd... I think I would really resent this, actually. I'm that's, not a, a ta- that's a change. Bam. Okay. <laughs> Resentment's a change. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. Normally, when you say like, "Oh, would that change your mind?" <laughs> you're asking like, like that 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 implies like a uh, like from a positive to a, from a negative to a positive. Sure. Like you're trying to persuade me to the tutini, you know, to be pro tutini lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I would just really resent the tutinis if I just had to look down at a part of my body and see one of these fucked up little guys on there. There are other fucked up little guys that I would like to see on my body before I would see a tutini. Let me do a compromise with you. You get the two teenies tattoo, but it's somewhere you'll never see it. <laughs> but, but, so but you don't s- even know. Most no, you times still, you just, you don't even know. But you still know. I mean, uh, well, like what, you, what you would have to do is like completely knock me out. I mean, it would have to be like when, um, when Hank, uh, Hank Hill got Bill tattooed on the back of yeah. his head c- c- on the last night that the, the Bill was home. Cause he, he was drunk and he just loved his friend Bill so much. And Boo yeah. Howard taught the tattoo artist into doing it on the back of his head. So the hair would grow over it. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to get, I'm going to get you drunk. I'm uh-huh. going to find a, a high school football player that you really love. Okay. I'm going to send him to the army. Okay. And on the day he goes to the army. I'm going to convince the tattoo guy to get you a Tutini stamp, st- tramp stamp. Mm-hmm. A true Tutini tramp, tramp. <laughs> Just on the back of you. And you won't even notice it. How often do you look at your tailbone? Probably I very mean, little. I mean, pr- 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 pretty little, yeah. But like, and again, winking and blowing a bubble. You would have to, but you would have to do it like when I was completely unaware. <laughs> Where's the bubble yeah. coming from? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where's the bubble coming from, man? Can't tell. <laughs> Come on, man. Where's the bubble coming from? It's more where the bubble's going, dude. Yeah. The, the, yeah. the more the more questions that I could that, that I could have the, uh, the 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 coroner eventually pose like the, like the more mysteries that I can present to them. You know, when mm-hmm. they find my body, you know, just kind of wedged between <laughs> wedged between the hot water heater and the uh, and, and, and the furnace yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, the better i think <laughs> yeah, like yeah yeah it'd be it'd make you a really interesting corpse yeah. how many two two teeny tattoos do you have to have before it becomes death by misadventure do you think <laughs> <laughs> like no matter how you died you could just straight up like go off to war but i think mm. if you have like 40 two teenies tattoos it becomes a misadventure. Anything you do, you, you would have to be like that. Uh, the that the carnival attraction guy whose entire body was covered oh, with puzzle yeah. piece. Yeah, that yeah. guy from Ripley's. Yeah, yeah, I would have to be. I would have to be more too teeny than man by that point. <laughs> the, the, uh, I don't see any reason to become like there are people who physically alter themselves into avatars. Not too teeny. <laughs> yeah, let's make it happen. Uh, let's make it happen. Uh, what let's... what's what'd you do on break? Oh man, I did so fucking little. Uh, like yeah i mean uh, like uh, honestly nothing exciting uh like there was family stuff you know around christmas kind of thing like mm-hmm. probably and probably the most exciting was uh uh so a, a different person hosted the christmas on my dad's side uh my aunt had it at my aunt because my grandma on that side passed away earlier this year or you know mm-hmm. last year whatever um so we um did it over at a, at, a, at a different house, a house where they just put in a new garage. Like they, okay. they, they, they just had a new garage built and a big new driveway poured. And we spent a lot of time out there looking at the garage and remarking on how many outlets there were uh, around more outlets than you would think, but they just kind of threw them in talking about the process of having it built, you know, just about this contractor that they had and like, yeah, it's a real sturdy garage. You got there. It's nice. Yeah, so yeah. Did a lot of garage admiring. Yeah, mired a garage Dang. and you know okay. had hadn't had you know cookies and stuff, played cards. Holiday food. Yeah, holiday food. Yeah. Yeah. You get any fun gifts? Um, my big gift this year was I got a uh, basically so uh I'm doing that guitar uh upgrade rehab thing. Mm-hmm. Uh what you can get is a pre-wired pick guard uh for okay. you know electric guitars so this is just a stratocaster that has uh all of the wiring already done like it's you know already there with upgraded pickups so i've got that i have yet to install because it's been too nasty out i don't want to go out and look for my soldering iron sure. <laughs> uh you know i want it to get a little bit nicer uh but yeah uh i'm gonna get that installed and that's gonna be the last it's gonna be the capstone on there oh i also got a um a, a rotary tool you know like a little okay. dremel little dremel thing we're doing some wood carving 
Yeah. So <laughs> looking forward you to messing like around with that. Yeah, I mean, oh, just power whittling, whittling at yeah. thirty two thousand RPMs, baby. <laughs> like, yeah, whittling beyond the speed of sound. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. So I got th- th- those were my those are my two things. Yeah, largely I'm, admiring garages, largely admiring garages and getting uh, new tools. Yeah, gotcha. Sweet. How, how about yourself? How, how uh, do you, you do anything cool in your break? Uh, I mostly also did nothing. Mm-hmm. I, I played uh, a video game for not work. I played through mm-hmm. Marvel of Midnight Suns. Nice. Uh, and I read books and uh, me and Liv went out a couple times, but mostly we were just in like gamer goblin mode. Mm. I got her a VR helmet Ooh. Uh, for Christmas. So it's been real fun. Uh, she's been playing. Uh, it came with Resident Evil 4 and Beat Saber. And I was expecting her to like Beat Saber, but not be real into Resident Evil 4. But she's making her way through Resident Evil 4. Oh, and sweet. it's fun to hear about because she <laughs> she's a gamer, but she's not a uh, action gamer. Mm-hmm. In a, in a general sense. Oh. Um, like, I think she played Bioshock. Uh, it's probably the closest thing. But, the, but the, it, it's yeah, been real fun to hear about. Nice. So she had not yeah. played the non-VR version. That's that's weird because, uh, I mean, you've played it. Our, uh, RE4 VR is difficult. That's a very hard so. game. Yeah. Yeah, I, th- I think it's, mu- it's much harder. And I'm very worried. I have this creeping sense of dread that she's going to get to a place where she can't continue. Mm-hmm. Like, because of 2004 design stuff. Like, yeah. she will not have enough ammo. Hmm. I had to get through, but so far she's doing good. She's on their way to the castle. So nice. She's like through the first act. Like she's doing great. Uh, and then she got me a couple cute little things. Like I got mm-hmm. a couple books. I got little custom, uh, magic cards for pocket and Jessica. And a little case. They're Yay. very sweet. Like little drawn <laughs> art and stuff. That was kind of the, the marquee. What, uh, uh what elements are they? They are, uh, so it's, it's very, uh, it was a cool, I'm glad I'm the kind of person I am moment okay. because if I, if I sucked, I would point out the inaccuracies to magic, the gathering. Gotcha. I, I know enough about magic to where I couldn't not notice. <laughs> this is not you know? tournament legal. <laughs> this is not tournament legal. There are things on this that make no sense within the rules of magic. Mm. Uh, so I was like, okay, you know, but she, she, uh, she asked me like subtly at one point, like what colors of magic I played and like I said, black and blue. So they're both like black and blue. Mm-hmm. Uh, which you know, they wouldn't be, uh, no. you know, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, and then they, they have some things on the rules text that don't make very much sense, oh. but, uh, that's fine. Cause she doesn't play magic. Yeah. Uh, so I noticed if I wasn't just like, mm, you know, <laughs> eh. I mean, uh, it's, I didn't do that. It, it's still like, you know, a piece of custom art of your, of your it, two lovely cats. It's super cute. Yeah. It's super thoughtful. I need to get a little like frame for it. Yeah. Uh, to put up on the wall. Uh, but yeah, very sweet. And we went to, um, I was buying the fun thing I did. So next week, uh, I'm going to go get married and the, I was buying wedding clothes for myself, mm-hmm. like a nice outfit. Uh, so we went and did that a couple times during the break. And one time we went to this mall out in the suburbs and they had, and this is very bleak. Like, I'm going to say this was neat because it's a neat novelty, but I don't need anybody calling me a class trader for this. Okay. Uh, there was a, a robotic barista. So I got to watch a robotic arm make a coffee huh. uh, for myself, which was kind of fun. Like I was, I kind of thought it was neat while hating that I thought it was neat. I mean, you know, that's also like it, that, that is a neat presentation of a thing that has existed like in every yes. hospital waiting room, you know, the yes. coffee machine that it's the better call Saul coffee machine thing. Right. It, well, the, but this was a little robotic arm that makes a latte and draws a little pattern. Yeah, and then yeah, it has a personality and and has a little robotic voice that says thank you and stuff. Yeah, like it's like very that. cloying and dy- dystopic, yeah. but it was still also novel, mm. you know, to see. Yeah, so uh, yeah. It, it's a it's 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 a it's a it's a Joe it's a Joe cab. Mm. It's a, it is it is a Java cab. Yeah, Java cab. There uh, we go. Yeah, so it's something like that. It's <laughs> uh, it was kind of fun. And then I asked the the teen who was working there. I was like, "How long did it take you to get disenchanted with this?" And I was like, "How long have you worked here?" It's like, "Oh, since it opened like three weeks ago." And I was like, "How long did it take to become disenchanted working with these robots?" And she's like, "I." <laughs> I was very proud of her. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it just like very, very fun to hear her just be like, uh, "Like she's pretty over it already." <laughs> You were like, like, but the the way that you made it sound, it made it sound like somebody leveled a pistol at her from a, from an unseen viewpoint. Like, no, you (laughs) just, you have to be, you have to be positive about the robots. She she was just kind of like, uh, like just kind of sick of the whole thing. Yeah. uh, Which I appreciated the candor. 
Yes. Uh, Cause mostly she's just there to like clean up after the robots. <laughs> and then all these very sad signs are like, our human helpers enjoy your tips. Oh and no. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, the dystopic part of it. Our human helpers. Dear yeah. God. <laughs> I know it's real bleak. Uh, but again, it was kind of neat as well to see. Yeah. Yeah. And I got a very snappy ensemble. Uh, mm. So I'm look good as shit. Nice. When I get married. Yeah. So oh, uh, preemptive and congratulations. Come, yeah. No, thank you. I, I'm going to come back with like a year's worth of after suffering shit to talk Ooh. about. Cause I haven't, and it, like we're going to Vegas, uh, mm-hmm. you know, not a gambler, not a drinker, but I'm going to go see some shows and stuff. Yeah. And there's all kinds of shit. Uh, we're going to do there. We're going to go to Omega Mart. We're going to go to the uh, atomic museum, oh, uh, nice. which looks like a fallout vault. If you've ever <laughs> seen it, like, Google it. It looks like that that vault uh, casino from New Vegas. Okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna go see Penn and Teller. Do some magic. Oh, uh, neat. going to the Camelot dinner and tournament. Show. Oh, uh, I mean, just uh, is that just medieval times with the serial numbers filed off? Uh, seems like it. It is the world's uh, or the United States, at the very least, the United States, maybe the world's largest consumer of Cornish game hens. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, I was thinking, that's such a funny, like, brag to put on their website, because imagine reading that as a Cornish game hen. Like, they're, they're just bragging and being like, oh, yeah, we, we kill 4,000 of you two times a day, every day, all the time. You know, you know? I'm just, I'm realizing I've never actually seen a, an alive, intact Cornish game hen. I've as far only as ever I know, s- they come. Yeah, like they come rotisserie. <laughs> like, they're, they come out of the egg on little spits. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's like it continue just, to grow. It's, it's it's like a less nasty version of like what's that balut or whatever it is yeah <laughs> yeah 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 i'm just i'm just looking up cornish game hen uh, and it, it is literally all just roasted it is i mean delicious looking roasted chicken but i'm not actually seeing good. the hen yeah yeah there's game hen images <laughs> living oh, there, there's one Oh, they're real cute. That's going to make me sad. The, the, oh, God. The, the first, okay, so the first result is there's Cornish Game Hen, and then there's Cornish Game Hen Alive. I, yes. I, love, I then, love the storytelling on this. Live Cornish Game Hen, and then it auto-completes to images, even when you're not searching for images. <laughs> like, a lot of people are skeptical. Like, teach the conspiracy uh, about <laughs> Cornish Game Hens being an actual thing versus just an immediate time snack. Yeah. Huh. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be a blast. I'm watching people joust. Oh, man. You know, listen to some dumb puns and then just like hang out in a weird city I've never been in. Yeah. Uh, so really looking forward to it. It's, that's funny. Uh, you, you've been on the West Coast for the, that long and not uh, uh, haven't been to uh, Vegas. I, no, it's I've not never been your to scene, the Southwest but... at all. Like I've, I've never been to the American Southwest. It's like the one region of the United States I'd never touched. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, huh. I'm looking forward to it uh, quite a bit. Nice. Um, Give me real, real fun. Yeah. And then also I'm getting married, which is also great. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, just a, a knock on effect. Also, yeah, just, yeah, just, <laughs> nah, no, no, that's going to be great too. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So we'll come back next time uh, we record Abject Suffering, I think. Uh, uh, I don't think uh, we have any other ones this week. And uh, we've got one next, know, next week. week. Next yes. week. Yes. Yeah. But then after that, I will have a billion anecdotes. Nice. So, as, of, as opposed to this week where I was like, yeah, I saw a robot take a job. <laughs> and I saw, <laughs> I saw a bleak harbinger of things to come. Yeah. I saw, I saw a little preview of our neuromancer future and I played a video game that I'm not going to talk about for work. Yep. Uh, the end. <laughs> so, like, I also played a video game, not for work, but what'd you yeah. play for? Not for work. I did a, a life of strange true colors. It's good. Nice. Yeah. yeah. We have uh, we're not ready to announce it yet, but we might have an avenue for that kind of stuff mm-hmm. at some point. So yeah. stay tuned for duck feed changes. Yeah. Um, good ones. Not uh don't be scared. <laughs> yeah. Nothing uh, bleak. Yeah. Is there anything uh, else we want to say before the, uh, we wrap this one up? No, no. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, just uh, leave, leave the two teenies people alone. <laughs> leave Skeleton yeah. alone, please. You don't yeah. have to leave the two teenies alone. Yeah. If you want to get the two teeny tattoo and figure out how many you need to get, yeah. you know, before you get in a book, uh, <laughs> do it. Please. With my blessing. Um, yeah. but just don't harass the developers. It's also, man, don't harass the developers as well, because like this isn't the Zombatitos. This isn't evil or anything. This is just right. a 3D just, platformer. Like, this is fine. Yeah. That's just you know? yeah, it's a, it's a, it's it's a game for kids. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little puzzle game about little fat guys. Like it's it's fine. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. If you like the show, what should they do, Cole? They can go to patreon.com slash duckvtv. 
Uh, if you pledge uh, at $5 a month, you get ex- uh, two extra episodes of this show per month. In addition to a bunch of stuff, you get, uh, you know, all the premium watch out for fireballs episodes. You get bonfire side chat. Uh, you get unfilmable uh, mm-hmm. our show about horror movies. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a bunch of stuff there. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, well, we think it's good value. Mm-hmm. Um, you can also leave us range reviews on Apple podcast or podcast addict, and you can tell your friends. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's everything. Hope you had a good new year. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and until next time, what should they do? Cole? Uh, until next time, remember 2023 is the year of the buff wizard who may or may not be a frog person. Mm-hmm. Big genitals on that wizard. <laughs> Dealer's choice. They can be any kind. <laughs> Yep.